I, I thought that we came out, we were really efficient, we really shared the basketball. I, I thought our guys, you know, even though Mark got in foul trouble, you know, kind of set us back a little bit in terms of how we wanted to attack them. But uh, it was a very efficient effort. You know, I thought that guys came in and gave us good minutes with, you know, Matt Christensen gave us good minutes. Um, Gavin Hoffman gave us good minutes. I thought, you know, Corey's really gotten better. You know, I thought Corey in the first half was really good. And he can get the spots on the floor. If, if, you know, it's the tough thing with Corey is he can get the spots on the floor. We want him to do it, you know, maybe not on the first touch. We want to do it on the second or third touch and give the defense a chance to make a mistake. And once he does that, he's pretty hard to guard. So, um, and we've got some guys that, you know, um, we got to continue to just keep coaching them and, and get better. We've got some young guys that are just trying to find their ways, first-year players trying to find their ways. But, you know, it gives you a chance to play them, you know, and, and get some reps uh, to get better because we need every one of those guys. Bruni got in foul trouble early, and with two fouls, we could really try to attack him. And Cruz is a little bit of a, it can be a little bit of a, um, a matchup difficulty, you know, because he can. He can pick and pop. He can pick and roll. We can do different things with him. Uh, he's talented, you know, and, and uh, he, can, he can do some different things from different spots on the floor. It makes him very difficult to guard. I mean, all my teammates, they, they play pretty, they play hard and, and, and good. And that, that makes it that much easier for me. I mean, uh, at the beginning of the game, they were trying to, like, double team me and stuff. But when my teammates get involved, I mean, it, it makes it that much harder. That's just the thing that I want to develop on, during the offseason, just my outside shot. Because uh, I knew that looking forward to this season, people was going to guard, like, try to stop me down low, and then now I can just go outside and score. So, Coach Wicks, Luke Wicks does a great job with the scouting report. And he really gets our guys to understand the, the – uh, where the teeth of their attack is, you know, and, and so I thought our guys were really locked in. They really understood what Montana's uh, strengths and weaknesses were. So we did a really good job of attacking it defensively uh, as well as offensively where we had some uh, opportunities. But w Wix does a really good job, you know, and, and it really helps us, uh, our guys to play and play free because they know what the game plan is. They know how to attack. You know, to go into Colorado, it should be a pretty hostile environment. Tad's done a great job there. You know, at Colorado, it's it's a you know a Pac-12 school. Uh, it's a chance for us to get a quality win. You know, we, we missed some opportunities maybe with Florida Gulf Coast and and with Evansville because I think those are probably top 100 type of teams. I think Colorado will probably be a top 100 team when it's all said and done. So this this will be a great test for us. We've got two days to prepare. We've got to get some bodies. You know, I thought Matt Glover was phenomenal today. I mean, he's he's really he didn't practice the last two days. Uh, had all kinds of issues with the body and just just sucked it up and played. Tim Dirksen, Cruz, Mark, those guys are playing on, you know, not fresh legs. So uh, they showed some character tonight, showed some substance. I'm, I'm really proud of them. We've got to keep it moving.